Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, so we are going to discuss about a binary search tree algorithm and its implementation in a data structures and algorithms concept. Here, the discussion is about binary search tree. In all our previous sessions, so we discussed about a linear data structures, but now a binary search tree, so nothing but a tree is a non-linear data structure. Tree is a non-linear data structure algorithm. Non-linear data structure algorithm is nothing but one node is connected to n number of nodes. Sir, what is a node? So, we know already, so good at a single linked list and double linked list operations. Okay. Here it is a, this is node based data structure, node based data structure. Sir, how can we represent sir? In a binary search tree, a node is a minimum having, minimum having three fields. So, one is a data field, second one is a left child, third one is a right child. Right, here it is at most having three nodes, I mean three fields. This is a node data structure. So, why the reason? In binary search tree, so a node is always connected to at most two nodes. Maximum it will be connected to two nodes. Two pointers will be present. Two pointers. Okay. Sir, minimum in some of the situations, a node is not connected to any other node. That is connection with a zero nodes. Or in some of the cases, only left is present, right will not be present. Or a right will be present, left will not be present. Such type of a nodes we will create. Nothing but we will construct the binary search tree in such a way. Okay. So, this is a non-linear data structure and a node based. We know how to create a node. So, very simple struct with the help of struct data type, user defined data type. Sir, what is the name you can give BST binary search tree node or simply I am writing node. Node. So, as usual is having three fields. So, one is a data field and two more fields are there. So, one is a node type struct node, struct node, pointer type one is a left child and the second one struct node, it is also pointer type, it is a right child, left child and a right child. This is the node structure to create nodes in the binary search tree. So, this is the user defined data type we are using. Okay. And how the tree structure will be? See, for example, so some of the nodes I am connecting. For example, 30 is one node. We are representing like this a node. And next one, suppose if you want to connect, right, a value is a 20. 20 is connected to left side. Reason 20 is comparing with this existing node. If the newly connected node value is greater than the root value is connected to right side, if it is a lesser value is connected to left side. Suppose here it is a 20 and next one if you want to connect 40, suppose it will be connected like this 40. If you want to connect 10, first it will compare with the 30, 10 is lesser than 30. So, move it to left side, it will compare with the 20. 10 is lesser to 20, so it is connected to left side. Suppose if you want to store a 50, when compare with a 30 is greater value right side and here it is a greater value right side 50, 50. For example, if you want to store 25, here it is, so 30 is connected to left side because 25 is lesser than 30. 
x1 compare with the 20 25 is a greater than 20 is connected to this one 25 next suppose 35 30 is greater than 40 is less than so 35 will be connected here 35 so this is so generally we are representing a binary search tree and for example sir i want to connect 37 37 when compare with 30 is a greater value when compare with a 40 is lesser value when compare with 35 is a greater value so 37 will be connected here this is a structure observe and here how many nodes are present okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nodes some of the nodes is not having any child here it is this node is connected to zero chails connected to zero chails no children look at this node is connected to one child right child is present left child is not present so this is is connected to single node connected to single node and next one look at this node is connected to how many chails left child and as well as the right child so this is connected to two nodes connected to two nodes so in a binary search tree a node is always connected to at most two other nodes right here it is a two nodes or zero nodes or a one node so these are the chances okay and one more thing for example a binary search tree is having n nodes contains n plus 1 null nodes n plus 1 null nodes so this n plus 1 i'll show you see for example so now i'm writing so this tree right so directly with the help of uh, nodes clear structures actually how the data will be connected in the program exactly i am writing for example i am taking one node this is data data is just considered 30 and here it is a uh, two nodes we are writing here it is one node here it is one node suppose data is a uh, 40 data is a uh, 20 next uh, two nodes we are writing this is one node and this is one node and this is one node and this is one node node so data is a 10 25 is a 35 and is a 50 connections how so generally whenever you create node using malloc function to a structure if you allocate the memory dynamically node will be created at some location address suppose addresses we are taking 1000 node address 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 7000 some random values we are taking 2000 will be stored here so that a connection to this node 3000 will be stored here so connection to this node 4000 will be stored here so connection to this node 5000 here so connection to this node 6000 here connection 7000 here connection sir what about this so not connected to any other node so all these are null nodes null 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 all these are null nodes if there is no connection the node is pointing to null so total how many nodes are there in this tree 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 nodes are there if a tree is having 7 nodes n nodes which contains 7 plus 1 8 null nodes look at this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total 8 null nodes are present because 7 
nodes are there. 7 nodes are there and 8 null nodes are there. This is one important question, interview question they will ask. Okay, if a binary search tree is having n nodes, it is having how many null nodes? This is the answer. Okay, and what all the operations we can perform on a binary search tree? See, so what all the operations? Operations on binary search tree. Operations on binary search tree. So, we can insert a node into a binary search tree. We can insert. Next one, we can delete a node from binary search tree. A third one is a traverse. A traverse is nothing but a displaying. But in how many ways we can traverse? How many ways? Here it is a three ways we can traverse. One is a in order traversal, second one is a pre order traversal, third one is a post order traversal. So, mostly these are the operations we will perform on a binary search tree insertion, a deletion, and a traversal, nothing but displaying the elements. Okay? So, about all these things and code implementation, so we will discuss in the coming sessions. Okay? For more videos, please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you. Thank you all.